Hello, my name is Brayden Oski. And I'm Austin Morales, and you're watching The Inner Gamer On. And today we'll be talking about the new game mode that is being developed by Ripple Studios for the new Battlefield 2042 called Battlefield Portal. An amalgamation of all kinds of generations of Battlefield all in one with custom game modes and much more. But what is this thing really? Let's talk about it. And as always, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, bang that bell, because you know you want to. Do it for the tube. The YouTube. All right, so the big ones, though, we have two things. First off, Battlefield finally unveiled what Dice LA has been working on, uh, also known as Ripple Effect now, which is interesting that they changed their name right before this stuff came out. But Battlefield's third mode, so they have the All Out Warfare one that's going to be like the main crux. They have a Hazard Zone, which they haven't really talked much about, but it's supposed to be more like intense, hardcore kind of game mode. Now, the third mode is going to be Battlefield Portal, which is an amalgamation of Battlefield 1942, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, and then, of course, Battlefield uh, 2042 with maps from each one that you can play in and mix and match things from every single era of the game. So it's like... So weird. It's very, it's very strange. It's like kind of like a custom game mode maker essentially but you're getting remastered maps from like two or three maps from each era of battlefield which is cool like i love that we're gonna have ll main back like that's gonna be badass but like they were showing examples of like hey you can do you know like the the meme or whatever would you rather fight one duck-sized horse or a hundred horse-sized ducks and in here they're like would you rather fight a hundred you know, robot thingy dogs and versus like one tank and like, what would, who would win? And it's like pitching these things together, but they have this whole like logic editor that you can use to like build out different, like, I guess things that happen during the course of the game that can, I mean, I think you can make like a gun game mode in here, like from counter strike. Yeah. Or like yeah. you get ran it, like you go up the progression <laughs> ranks of like guns as you play through. And there were scenes where they had like old fighter jets in world war two fighting big, huge, like modern jets. And, like, you know, freaking military World War II guys going against, like, five, like, special ops operatives. And you just build these custom game modes. You launch it. It starts a server for you. And then you play it out. And it's really interesting. But, I mean, I don't know. What, what did you? What was your kind of take on watching this and <clears throat> seeing all the things that they threw out there? I don't like it. Really? <clears throat> I mean, it's cool. I mean, what they showed, it's like you're going to pair World War II guys up with current guys obviously there's going to be some sort of there's no way they can make one more powerful than the other or they could and they sh i mean that's technically what it is but i mean i guess it makes it even one gun from world war ii is going to be just as powerful as another gun from world war ii but the way you load and how much the fire rate and the accuracy is going to be should be completely different and i feel like if you go into a game where it's like oh it's gonna be world war ii guys against modern warfare guys it's like I just don't see how that's going to be even at all. Well, it's not. I mean, that's like kind of the idea is it's like there's no balance here that's going to be existing. It's just like, wouldn't it be interesting if you have these versus this and just kind of like see what happens? Like maybe you have like five guys <laughs> who are like super, super good at playing, but it's like kind of like 4v1 with like Evolve. You know, it's like you have one monster versus like four guys that are fully loaded with stuff. It's like kind of making those Mitch Max, Mitch those moshes together, I guess. Yeah. But balance is like going to be thrown out the window. There's no such thing as balance in this game mode. Um, well, but I, that's kind of like their, it's kind of like the thing I think of is like the stunts mod from back in 1942 is kind of doing stupid zany shit that we did back then. This is kind of bringing that back in a sense because it sounds like I could put like a hundred dudes in there and give them like, I mean, you give put a hundred dudes and give them knives like they had in the in the thing, and the other guys had the defibrillators, and they just go out and like duke it out. I mean, it's stupid. It's not balanced. It's not like it doesn't make sense. But it's like it could be fun for a little bit. Yeah, maybe I just need to see it in action because I'm. Uh, I mean, this is one of those games like I, I get kind of serious on because I want to win and I like right. the shooting and stuff. So like I want to go into a match and I want to win. This is just like I'm gonna go into a match and. I don't, I don't know. that's not what this is about this is not about winning or losing it's just about right 
having fun with your friends, making stupid collaborations and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I guess I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't a part of that back when the yeah. early Battlefield stuff came out. Cause you know, you would, I guess I was part of some of it, but you guys were making movies, mm-hmm. like little clips and funny things. And it's just like, oh, okay, cool. Like we can do this, but it's just us. It wasn't like a hundred people. Yeah. We'll see. I that would know. be, the, that is the interesting part is like how the scale yeah. to have like, I mean, are a hundred people going to want to go into a game where it's just like a night fight? Maybe. I mean, I would be interested in just checking it out and just seeing what it's kind of like. Remember when uh, PUBG was like s- flipping things around and they would have like you would play that big, huge map that they brought out, but everybody just had shotguns. And then you go in there and it's like it changed the meta of the game by mm. being able to like you have to you no longer you see your enemies from a distance and they can't snipe you anymore like they used to be able to. You had to get close. Yeah. And that changed the way we played the game. And it was just kind of cool that we could like get up and close and personal instead. Yeah. And yeah. shotgun the heck out of them instead of having to like get sniped from like five miles away yeah so there's there's things like that that i think could be there's a lot of interesting potential here it's just a matter of what are people going to be able to come up with because like the things that they showed in the trailer I'm like that'll be fun for a couple weeks but then after that it's like okay i'm not going to sit there and spend every single day having defibrillators fighting guys with knives yeah like it's just not that's not what i want i want i want the competitive edge of it and i want to get into that stuff but at the same time it's like me and my friends back in the day like spent hours upon hours like sitting there just trying to figure out okay let's take a tank that has a shit ton of dynamite and let's run it off of a cliff and see how far we can make it launch across the map and just do that over and over again until something breaks and or let's fly our plane up in the air back before like it became a thing in the trailers and stuff like that fly a plane up in the air jump out jump in another plane and then fly off and like keep doing that until we like mastered it and doing stuff like that, I could see that being like really cool. But yeah. again, with 128 players, it's like I don't know how many people are going to be doing this for like custom games yeah. with like randoms. I feel like it's more built for you have a clan or a community, and like let's have a game night and come here and do like the stupid stuff that we'll like run through. Well, right now it's not my forte, but who knows? Yeah, I need to see it in action. Yeah, but nine nine times out of ten, I'm probably just going to go to multiplayer and shoot some people. Right. Yeah. In and out. The nice thing too is like people will have like probably like ro- map rotations where it's just standard Battlefield 2042 kits, but you can play these older maps, which is kind of nice. So like you could have 64 and 64 in LL Main, which was never possible back in 1942, mm. and just have everybody playing. I mean, they could all be World War II soldiers. It could be 100% like vanilla, but they're playing the remastered maps. See, that'd be cool. It's like, hey, I want to make this, redo this map. Yeah, and add some new stuff. Like if you can like take a map. Well, there's no map editing. That's the thing. Well, there's no map editor to it. But it's like that would be awesome. I know. I w- I wish they added a map editor component to this. Yeah. Because I think that would like take it to the next level. Because I hear custom games. I already think like, oh, map editor. Yeah. No, this is going to be like. I mean, because there's going to be there's two or three maps from every era of Battlefield that they've redone. The Battlefield has remade for 2142. So you can go into these maps. So somebody can make a custom game that is either World War II characters or it could be the modern 2042 group that you have with all of your, you know, uh, classes and all that stuff. Drop in the map and you're just playing a remastered version of a 1942 map. See, that's awesome. All vanilla, which I I mean, that alone I think is like cool about this. Yeah. And they have the potential to add more to this eventually. Like maybe they'll eventually add all the 1942 maps and They'll add all of the bad company maps. I think there could, could be some interesting potentials yeah. there. I'd be down for that. Yeah. Like bad company maps? Yeah. Bad company two maps? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. That was a shit back in the day. Yeah. Woo! So, it's pretty cool. Well, that has me excited. <laughs> yeah. So it's not just, I mean, they were showing all the weird zany stuff, but it still right. can be like, the biggest thing is we have like eight maps coming to the game from the new game, but then there's going to be eight to 10 more maps coming from past games Yeah, that can be put in here as like, it can be, somebody can have a server that's just a rotation of 20 of maps of all the eras of Battlefield that you play standard Battlefield, but there's 20 of these maps here yeah. to play through. I'm down for that. Yeah. Do we have dedicated servers yet? This will all be dedicated servers in here. Yeah. Yeah, they're not doing any, like, I think they're going to do some custom ones, but, like, when you do these games, like, they're going to launch on a dedicated server. So you say, okay. I want to start a custom game with 100 versus 5. Yeah. You press start, it's going to launch it inside of a custom a dedicated server okay. to play through. So it's not like you have to buy and rent something to, to run it. Well, that's nice. Yeah. 
So that's another benefit too, because that'll take out a lot of the complications, I think. Yeah. 